Hello and welcome. This is of course the Sinclair QL and uh, before we do a teardown I'm going to fix the keyboard. First of all the membrane inside is, is not working properly and uh, secondly the other day when I was taking it down I dropped it on the floor and this arrow up key uh, came off. So I'm going to uh, fix the keyboard and uh, then we'll try and uh, do a teardown and finally play around with it a little bit uh, because this is actually quite a nice little machine. This machine is a, a lot of and then yeah. So, well, oh, look at that. Someone has been here before me. So anyway, let's just put the machine aside for a bit and um, take a look at the keyboard. First of all, on the QL, it's important to prop it up because otherwise all the keys will go all over the shop and uh, you don't want that. Putting them back in the correct order while it's upside down is not really uh, my kind of fun. So you can see the wires here from the membrane and uh, it's basically the same construction as the Sinclair uh, Spectrum Plus keyboard but uh, the membrane and the rubber springy things are a lot better quality so yeah um, there you got it this is the membrane which is giving me problems and uh, down here we have those uh, springs it's a rubber mat like just like modern day keyboards and uh, it's pretty good. Now my broken key is this one here and uh, let's see if we can get it out. No, nope. I gotta get something in from uh, below. There we go. Yep, there we go. We can take out the whole piece uh, so we don't have to worry about getting glue into the mechanism. So here I have the main piece of the button and the little thing that broke off. I have some poly cement. The first thing I need to do is uh, to make sure that this uh, poly cement works with this kind of plastic. So the first thing I do is just put a small dot of glue whoops, inside there where it doesn't do any harm and see whether it will actually uh, bind to this plastic. So let's just wait for it to dry. It looks a little bit to me as if it's still not set. And yeah, unfortunately, it didn't, didn't work. And that's the problem when you buy an old computer on eBay where the button is broken off. They always say, oh, this just needs a bit of glue and uh, then you're done. But uh, it's actually quite difficult to gluing this together. Yeah, so I have to go downstairs to try and find another kind of glue. I found somewhere on Google uh, and they said CA would be the correct glue. So um, let's just give it a go. Just put a little bit on the tip of scalpel. Okay, there we go. This is the thick one. This is a gel. Uh, it also comes in a liquid form. Um, I think the gel one is better here, unless you want to put it on with a brush. And uh, we'll try to put it on here. Yeah, that went well, almost. And uh, I think it goes in this way. There we go. And uh, it actually feels like it's gonna stick. So I let it sit here uh, for at least 10 seconds and uh, that's it. Yeah, what well, do you know? Uh, I was looking for my uh, QL stuff so I could connect it to my monitor and uh, we could take a look. And I found, of course, my replacement uh, membrane. But look at this. I didn't even remember I had this. And if I can get in the bag, look at that. A whole box full of these. Uh, a whole box full of these plastic things for the keyboard. 
so I've been gluing and gluing in vain. Uh, but anyway, uh, now you've seen me do it, uh, I guess that is cool enough. Um, first, I like to say that uh, the, the super glue worked great, and I have one that is fixed here. But uh, since I have new one, I'm of course going to use that instead. So it's very easy, you just put it into the hole here and uh, cover it with a rubber, th <coughs> rubber thing. And, and yeah, uh, it should align nicely, the new one. And uh, it kind of does. Yes, good. And I'll just put it in. I should have fixed my keyboard now and um, unfortunately I don't know where these wires go so I gotta google that and uh, then we can put the whole thing back together this could be a little bit tricky uh, both to do and to, to see uh, but basically these wires that I had trouble with comes from uh, the LEDs in the top cover okay I don't know whether you saw any of that but I got the wires in and uh, the only thing that is missing now is the keyboard and uh, they go in just like that you just push them in gently and uh, and that's it I should have a working QL keyboard now and my up arrow key is fixed And we see the keyboard is now working. Including the up key. So let's just run a little program and uh, make sure everything works in super in QL super basic. And this keyboard is actually not bad. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, let's run that. Run. Whoop. Hello world. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again soon.